Best places to retire in Jamaica. Gorgeous beaches, winter sunshine, reggae, or jerk chicken washed down with Jamaican rum. These are some of the many reasons tourism is one of Jamaica's top industries. If you are nearing the retirement age and find yourself reminiscing about that fabulous vacation you had in Jamaica a few years ago, you are not alone. Many retirees to Jamaica first experienced the spirited sun-soaked island as a holiday destination. Of course, everyday life, even in retirement, isn't simply one long vacation. While many of the most appealing retirement destinations in the country double as vacation destinations, it pays to look beyond the resort areas to explore what most locals, whether natives or expatriates, call home. Welcome back to Hilly Jamaica. I'm Alex, and remember to leave a thumbs up, and if you're a new subscriber, just write the word subscribe in the comment section below. After Christopher Columbus washed up on Jamaica's shore in 1494, the highland was colonized by Spain. Yet as the Caribbean's largest English-speaking island, it's Jamaica's British heritage that lingers more predominantly in the way the country is named and organized. The case in point, Jamaica's geography is divided into British-inspired counties of Cornwall, Middlesex and Surrey, which are then divided into a series of 14 parishes. Kingston, in Surrey, and home to the capital city, is the smallest parish, while the vibrantly chaotic city of Kingston is an excellent place to seek out ent entertainment and local culture, it's not an ideal place to live if you hope to retire in a relatively serene spot. Look beyond the capital to some of the following locations. Mandeville British expat retirees are often drawn to the Isle of Mandeville, the biggest town in Manchester Parish. According to a 2015 survey done by local Jamaican press, Manchester Parish is the happiest parish on the island. Some residents jokingly chalk that distinction up to the climate, which is notoriously cooler than much of the island due to its higher altitude. Expect to find local Jamaican culture here in its authentic forms. From Rastafarians hanging out in the bustling main square to the manicured gardens of suburban estates favored by returning residents. If your children haven't flown the nest, Mandeville is home to several excellent private schools. The St. Hans Parish. Don't be put off by the fact that St. Hans' most well known town, Ocherias, is a regular port of call for visiting cruise ships. While tourists flock to Ocherias to drink in the area's lush natural beauty, the Garden Parish offers plenty, to add plenty of other scenic areas to call home, away from the madding crowds. The capital of the parish, St. Anne's Bay, features coastline views and historic architecture, but few tourists. Trelawney Parish With its gracious, albeit slightly crumbling Georgian architecture, and relaxed countryside location, Trelawney's parish capital, Falmouth, is redolent of the island's 19th century colonial history. History buffs will be drawn to the authentic historical spirit of the town. Expect for a slower pace of life than that in busy Kingston. And remember, this isn't a mecca for luxury resorts. This is a real town. Opwell, Hanover. This charming coastal village in the northwest hosts a mix of native Jamaicans plus English and American expatriates. For locals, the biggest bragging point may be that the Serene Beach is within walking distance. Along with the aforementioned locations, other great retirement spots to consider are St. James in Montego Bay as well as coastal towns of Runaway Bay and Discovery Bay, which are about halfway between Ocho Rios and Falmouth. If you are attracted to the more upscale resort areas in Jamaica, 
consider renting on the outskirts of town, you'll still have access to the driving, shopping, and rec recreational amenities, but your cost of living will be much cheaper than renting or buying in town center. For those who plan on traveling frequently back to the mainland US, consider living close to one of the Island Street International Airports. They are situated in Montego Bay, Kingston, and Ocho Rios. The one in Ocho Rios, the Ian Fleming International Airport, may claim the world's coolest airport name. The Ian Fleming Airport, christened after the British creator and author of the James Bond films and novels. Non-stop flights to Miami are less than two hours. An appealing fact for those transitioning retirement with business obligations back home. One sobering note for LGBT retirees. Jamil has a law mandating a 10-year jail sentence for anyone engaging in homosexual acts, something that former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller vowed to revisit in 2011, but then reneged upon in 2014. In addition, the society at large is known for its homophobia, with violence against LGBT people a genuine risk. So what's the bottom line? You need to look beyond Montego Bay and other resort areas to unearth Jamaica's best spots, both coastal and inland, to call home during retirement. For those who prefer resort area, consider locating outside the center of town to save costs while still having access to a resort's amenities. Thank you. I am Alex Frost, and remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica and click the notification icon so you always receive updates.